Favourite corner at Road Atlanta is um, probably turn six. Um, the reason for that is is because you know you come up as you approach it, you're going up and down, and it's and it's got a camber to it as you turn in, and you can really go in there quite fast, uh, carry a lot of speed into the apex, and allow the banking to hold you in there. So you've got you've got to commit into that corner. I love turn one. Again, I love fast corners. Uh, turn turn one, yeah, you. Uh you have to be super precise, um, aim for the apex and uh, avoid the bumps on the outside which could uh, put you off track and, um, and you have to uh, breeze a little bit the throttle going into the corner and go back flat mid corner so the car can stick on the ground. It's a mind process. Favourite turn at Road Atlanta has to be turn one because we, since he resurfaced it and took out a lot of the bumps and the P cars we go through there Sometimes we drop one gear, sometimes we can go through there flat if we have the right downforce package on. And it's, uh, it's banked and the Gs are huge and just a thrill every lap to go through there. Just really, uh, it's one of those corners where you just smile in your helmet as you go through it. Well, Petit Le Mans is a long race and uh, you've got to get through the traffic cleanly. It's uh, tough on the cars. Um, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a tough race to win and you've got to get absolutely everything right. The length, uh, the length of the, 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 the race itself is a, is a special mind process. You really uh, have to have a strong car, reliable. Uh, you need to think about finishing the race before the performance. Um, but you need, a, you need the car to be suitable for all three drivers so you can, uh, you can start the race um, with a clear mind and, make sh and be sure that everything's going to be okay. Petit Le Mans, the Georgia clay is the most challenging aspect because as the race goes on people go off, they bring on more and more of this dirt and it, it, although the track picks up grip and improves, it's hard to clean up that clay and especially in a P car when you're going offline, as the race goes on not only do you have the normal debris of tyres and shards of carbon to deal with. There's a lot of that dust and clay and it just makes it very easy to make an error and uh, to damage the car. So I would say that Georgia clay is definitely our biggest challenge. Well, I've probably done a gazillion laps around Road Atlanta. Um, it's, it's a great circuit, I love it. Uh, the secret to a good lap there, again a bit like um, Road America, Road, uh, yeah, Road America, because we've got to run as little downforce as we possibly can and still get round the corners. And uh, if we can achieve that, then we're going to have a good, not only a fast car, but good on fuel economy. Um, secret to good lap. You need a good uh, straight line speed because there's a long straight, but you also need uh, a lot of downforce into the corners. So it's a, it's a balance between the two that you, you need to uh, talk uh, with your engineers before the, before the qualifying or the race. I can't remember the name of the turn, or the number of the turn, but onto the back stretch, it's a very slow corner. But if you make an error there, it's such a long way to the bus stop at the end of the straight. Not only do you lose maybe a tenth on the exit, but it multiplies to half a second by the end. So that's the most important corner on that track. I wouldn't really change it. It's a, I think it's a great circuit. I think the improvements that they've done over the years has been good. And uh, like I said, it's a, it's a real challenging circuit and I, I wouldn't touch it. I'd probably try to have safer um, runoff. Um, it's a difficult uh, racetrack for that. When you go into the fast corners, you need to think twice about it. I would really love to extend the runoff through turn 12. And I would love to go back to the old track without the chicane, just to experience coming under that bridge without lifting. That would be uh, that would be something else. I think my favourite uh, memory was winning the Petit Le Mans in '99. Uh, great battle with BMW and uh, Eric Bernard, my teammate, was in the car at the, towards the end, and unfortunately, the BMW of Jörg Müller 
uh, spun out at the chicane and ended up in the gravel and we went through and we came and won that race. So at that time that was a great victory for the team. I love the racetrack itself. Every time I go there it's a, it's a good memory. Uh, every time I get to drive on the track is a good memory. Without doubt it's my happiest memory is to win Petit Le Mans and stand on the top of the podium there. It's, uh, it has very quickly become a very important race in the world of motorsport and to win that and have it on your CV is something that is uh, very, very good.